Now here is a game I never imagined would become what it has. Minecraft is basically ubiquitous in the younger gaming world, but has retained a lot of its older, first-generation audience. I was first exposed to this game during its beta, while I was in high school. I did not actually pay for a copy of my own until around 2014. I spent a few years tooling around on places like Empire Minecraft, made a few attempts to beat the offline game, and generally enjoyed the ultra-casual nature of one of the most successful video games in industry history. What has always impressed me about Minecraft is the nature of its engine, which was originally written in JavaScript, and is known for being powerful, if occasionally obtuse to work with. Marcus Persson, also known as Notch, released the initial versions of Minecraft on the TIG source forums in 2009, though a true feature-complete release did not happen until November 2011. Notch would later depart Mojang in 2014 and sell his shares of Mojang Studios to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. Microsoft continues to support and develop Minecraft through this studio, where it has remained at or near the top performing product on their portfolio every year since. Minecraft is an interesting example of how small teams' technical limitations and engineering constraints can force more creative results than unlimited budgets in massive design studios. This game never would have emerged from any of the AAA development houses operating at the time. As a whole, I have been annoyed by the industry drive towards higher resolutions, more detail, more simulations, bigger worlds, and higher polygon counts, when these things come at the cost of good game design. It all adds up to products that are more expensive than ever to make, model, optimize, and release. There is a belief that projects who spend a whole bunch of money are going to get a whole bunch of results. Anthem remains a great example of the flaw in that line of reasoning. Dudes in mech suits clubbing each other seems like a surefire model for success, especially after hits like Titanfall, Armored Core, Mech Warrior, and others. Anthem played on those themes, but reduced the scale and focused the story much more on the people wearing the suits and not on the technology of the world. The concept was not fundamentally flawed and could well have worked, but for failures in technology and design. Anthem remains a great example of graphics not mattering at all when pasted over these poor designs and shaky infrastructure. Like the DeLorean, it offered a gorgeous and well-designed exterior that masked its underwhelming performance on the road. Minecraft, on the other hand, offered players a much less pretty experience that worked much better from the start, with a smaller team, less technology, and a greater emphasis on robust design, Minecraft hit its stride and kept right on going, with the Bedrock version still continuing to evolve today. I got bored of Minecraft about five years ago, and had not touched this game at all in that span. In fact, it had fallen out of my mind entirely until I saw this video from Martin Sinopants. A handful of friends, messing around in their own version of survival mode, where if one person dies, everyone has to start over. Seeing how much the game had evolved in five years was interesting. There were more biomes, more blocks and tools, additional mobs, and greater overall variety in the worlds that are created entirely through procedural generation. I remain impressed by Minecraft's implementation of this technology. Even a decade later, it's still the most effective deployment I've ever seen, and one which modern games have yet to surpass in terms of depth and detail. This game is a fraction of the size of modern titles and can run on almost anything, from my Android phone to my recently finished gaming rig. It supports cross-platform multiplayer and has the most successful mods monetization scheme I've ever seen. It's a wonderful success story, and was originally designed by one guy playing with JavaScript. 
I was inspired to make a review of Minecraft after playing it again because it reminded me about something that the industry as a whole seems to have forgotten. A well-designed game, founded in passion, forged by sacrifice, and crafted with care, is going to find success. It may not come all at once, but it will come eventually. Games don't need 4K textures, one-to-one -one scale model planets, realistic physics, or ultra-poly 3D models in order to be successful and effective. Good games start with good design, effective play loops, and strong optimization. Graphics are not the end-all. They are merely an ingredient to be used in good balance alongside all the others. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.